Well, what do you think? Where are we going to set up camp? You choose. No! I hate choosing. Then you curse me. I know, that's better than me choosing. Right here, right on this trail. Yeah. I'm done. You want to go right or left? Right we have a trail, left we have to make our own trail. Yeah. I say we make actually break trail and go that way. Sure, if you want. What do you think, Rob, Joe, Tim? Rob, it's Rob. Spread. Rob. Spread. Spread. Uh, yeah. Spread. <laughs> I'm not going to answer. We'll go that way then. Okay, there's a lot more hills that way. All right, so you got it. Uh, Mr. Uh, Ashley McBride, aka oh. Speedo Man, has told us to go this way, where there's a well-worn <laughs> trail to the right, and that, those are all hills. So, taking down layers. Yep, taking yeah. off layers, getting a bit of an attitude. <laughs> you, you're the oldest guy here, so I mean, we've got to think Cater. about the older people. Oh, here we go, right? here we go. What happened? There's, there's water. water. So what's her plan? You should test it out, see how deep it is. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, I think the ice looks pretty solid, yeah, guys. Yes, yeah. it is. Yeah. So, so let me get this straight. Um, Ashley, you've given up? Uh, sure, I'd give up. I think we should camp right here. Looks nice. Yeah. yeah. Right on the swamp. Yeah, nice and flat, flat, nice and swampy, look yeah. How flat it is. We got the stove going on. We got two tents this time. Uh, Tim brought his Atuk tent, a tent. I think that's how you pronounce it. So we're going to use that as a communal tent, uh, make our meals in there to chat uh, through the night. And then I put my minimalist tent up, uh, snow jerker minimalist tent. I brought that one uh, for uh, Joe to sleep in because we don't really like him. More wood to be cut though, if you have two tents or, you know, but we got four people, so we got enough people to do the work. But yeah, you gotta, you gotta end early and cut a lot of wood. Uh, it's beautiful out. It's really nice. Foxes are growing out of trees around here. Look at that. Everywhere you go, there's an axe coming out of the tree. Another one. Your new tent? It is. This is the Atok Kangook Gen 2. What's why, those? Why is it Gen 2? Good question. Uh, first is there's a two-way zipper now. You can zip from the bottom up or from the top down. So uh, uh, easier to keep track of uh, or to... Oh my god, I'm tired when I'm not even speaking straight. Take two. <laughs> zipper on the door, so now you can zip up or down, which uh, helps with uh, regulating your temperature and then airflow in the tent. Oh, uh, oh there's another rope. Oh, another, oh, another rope. Right. The uh, vent. Oh. Vent, so again, for easier regulation of temperature, or uh, if your stove smokes when you're starting her up, that's a uh, easier way to clear the smoke out. A question I get a lot. So uh, I have a snow trucker when the pipe goes out the side, yeah. and this has a pipe going up. Yes. Uh, what's the advantage of either? Like it, what? Why it, does this have that, and the snow trucker doesn't? Well, because of the construction of the tent, so it's just a central pole, and then the sides are guide out. It's easier to run your pipe straight up, uh, and then I find for airflow, you don't have to worry about orienting the slanted pipe you have to worry about wind direction so you don't end up having wind blow down your pipe and into your stove so if we're going straight up you don't really have to worry about that so here's my tent uh, snow trucker minimus so you can put one easily maybe two and this is what tim's talking about see my pipe goes out the side which actually i prefer um i don't like the pipe going up the top just paranoid about things like sparks and stuff you have to do tests about the draw but it, straight up it heat goes straight up it, it always draws well i've never had a problem with the stove in this tent and you had no problems with uh like i'd be paranoid with the pipe going up um do you put a spark um you can so uh two things so the stove that's with this tent we sell the stove as a kangook stove so there's actually an extra length of pipe the stove standard is actually one length shorter and that would be too short. Then I would be concerned about embers falling down on the tent. Uh, with the extra length though, you're actually above the tent. So if your wood is very sparky, then yes, you can. Uh, there's a spark arrester you can use. Uh, the only thing is if the wood is wet, you can sometimes get moisture buildup and it'll drip like creosote onto your tent, which doesn't look nice. Also, you do get a better draw without the spark arrester. So if, it's, if you have wood that's very wet and dripping on your tent, use the spark arrester. If you're, if it's raining straight down, then use a spark arrestor so you don't get rain in. But other than that, I generally don't use a spark arrestor. It spark. affects draw. You get a better draw without the spark arrestor than, than using it. 
Okay, so we've slept in both, right? There's no trucker in this. Yeah. So the, the stove's in the center on this one, with yeah. snow truckers on the side. So yeah. what has more room for sleeping? Depends how many people you're sleeping. I've been using this this winter on solo trips with me and the dog. So it's pretty good. No, for three people. I think three people sleep comfortably in the 10 by 10. I mean, you kind of sleep around the tent on this one. Um, whereas with the snow trekker, you're kind of more side by side. Um, I don't know. I mean, last time we slept and I, I got a good night's sleep. Uh, this tent is smaller than his. It's about 13 pounds. And it's like a minimus. Basically, you've got two tie-offs on the side and then one on the back and just really small poles holding it out. And what's the weight of this? Uh, 19 pounds. Okay, and it's got no poles. Correct. So, so you the no pole kit, like we will uh, we film what it looks like in there, but it's just a stave that we found when we were getting firewood for the center support. Would you have a hard time, see it's staked all around all the sides, right? So if you're out in the middle of the, like the barrens. Yeah, you have to stake out your sides then. Yeah. Yeah, so you could use snow anchors and bury it, or if you could get stakes into the ground, you could just pound in a stake and then tie off to the stake if you want. But yeah, I mean, we're in trees here, so it makes sense to tie off to trees, but you could guide this out to the ground, like on longer lines, and then guide it out if you're on a flat surface. It's personal preference, isn't it? Uh, They're both fine tents. They're yeah. both fine tents. It's just a different style and approach. Yeah. Better to sleep in the snow. Don't get to care what hot tent it is, as long as it's a hot tent. <laughs> uh, Joe, why are you sleeping out here? <laughs> Come along camping with us, Kevin Collins says. He says we have two hot tents, you know, it'll be warm, everything's fine. Well, it comes to uh, nighttime and there's no room for old Joe, you know? We got British guys snoring, sleeping sideways in one tent. And friggin' slip and slide slopes down into the stove on the other. These guys, oh no, we'll sleep over here in the corner where it's nice and dry, but Joe, you can sleep in the puddle, you know? So, anyways, I figured I'd take my chances out here. <laughs> there was an incident last night uh, about sleeping. Um, actually, Tim and I had a great sleep. Uh, we slept in the big tent, and uh, and but then Mr. shouldn't have had that last whiskey guy. He, uh, he went out, we thought, to go pee. Actually, we shoved him out to go pee, and then he didn't come back. Uh, and then he slept in the tent that we brought for Joe. Yeah, I stole his tent. Yeah. Oh, no. And then Joe tried to sleep in here, and then he couldn't get comfortable, and he wants perfection. Right. Like, you know, we're in the forest, for heaven's sakes. So like, really, like, it, whether he rolls onto the stove or not is not really our problem. So then he had enough and just went, <laughs> ugh, ugh. And he goes off to the bush, and we wake up, and where is he? And he's sleeping in the woods. I'm here with uh, YouTube cessationalist uh, um, Rob. Rob, and he's saying I can't film. It's too much stress, stress, uh, too much pressure, stress. I don't know what else to say to you. That was about it. Except you know, man up, man, man up. Like yep. really, take some video, or some. Well, then th here's this man. Um, peachy. I got nothing to say. Just peachy. Yeah. What's going on inside? What all the cameras are on? We're I'm, I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm so excited because we're here on a camping trip and we have a Speedo Man vir Virgin right here <laughs> and he's actually a bushcraft expert. Uh, oh, it was bad. <laughs> Tim, what is that you got there? Huh? What are you, what are you slicing? Oh, this is uh, smoked bacon for this morning's breakfast. It looks like real bacon. It's the real deal. Lived on a farm. There's a pig on a farm. They yeah. got sliced up and yeah. put in a smoker. Our sort of story goes. I thought it was something that you killed last night and put it on your head. <laughs> That's a hat. That's an outdoor hat. Yeah. This piece kind of done. Oh, that was a trip, Rob. It was alright, Joe. Oh, his name's Joe. Keep. <laughs> what do you think, Tim? It's good, man. It's sad to go home. It's always sad to go home. But, uh, yeah, it was good. Well, that wraps up another hot tenting expedition in the Kawartha Highlands Provincial Park in 2016. I still have a head cold. Uh, Jim, Bob, Joe, whatever his name is, is still the Bushman. And Ashley is not talking to anybody because he's a little, uh, actually he's got a sore neck and um, I, I'm not sure. He's just cranky. Butter. And Tim, and Tim is, uh, He's got the best spirit of all of us. Yep. Yeah. I'd say so. <laughs> well, it was, yeah, it was, it was quick, enjoyable. 
Now it's go time to go. Then you have to go home to Windsor. <laughs> we just have to go 20 minutes down the road. Yeah, I'm gonna look forward to that. <laughs>